its range to the Kennedy Space Center now 30 miles. Touchdown now just four minutes away. Pilot Tony Antonelli now taking control of the stick for a few minutes. Steering Atlantis around this heading alignment circle. This is a right overhead turn of 320 degrees. This will set up the shuttle for its final approach and landing there on runway 33. Now just three minutes to go. The shuttle's traveling 547 miles per hour. Its altitude six miles. And Houston Atlantis. Field and set. Yeah, good luck with that one. Now the commander, Ken Ham, now taking control of the shuttle. You're on at the 180. Copy, on at the 180. It's a beautiful day. Absolutely. Two and a half more minutes to go in Atlantis's flight. There you see the Florida coast coming into view. The uh, shuttle continuing to turn to the right and line up with runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center. Commander Ken Ham continuing to finish up this heading alignment circle turn. Atlantis, you are on at the 90. Copy, on at the 90. In just a few seconds, the uh, shuttle's crew will get their first view at the Kennedy Space Center. Atlantis now traveling 400 miles per hour. Side of the cockpit has the runway site. Copy that, Hawk. Field in sight. Once again, this is the heads up display that Commander Ken Ham is taking a look at as he pilots Atlantis down toward this runway. Space Shuttle Atlantis now traveling 389 miles per hour. It is now on final approach to the Kennedy Space Center. During this point in the flight, the shuttle's descent rate is 20 times steeper than a commercial airliner. Its angle of attack more than seven times steeper. Now under one minute to go in Atlantis's flight. Atlantis now beginning what is known as the pre-flare maneuver. It will pull the nose up a little bit right before it uh, hits the runway. Its speed now 320 miles per hour. The gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Atlantis's nose being now rotated down toward the runway. The uh, chute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis now comes home to the Kennedy Space Center for the final time. 25 years, 32 flights, and more than 120 million miles traveled. The legacy of Atlantis now in the history books.
Copy, we'll stop Atlantis. Hawk, that uh, landing was something that your Air Force crewmate should have really been proud of. That looked pretty sweet. Uh, for you and your crew, uh, that was a, a suiting in to an incredible mission. I'm sure the station crew members hated to see you leave, but we're glad to have you back. And uh, you guys executed flawlessly. And not only that, you had a great time doing it. That was very evident from the ground. And everybody down here really enjoyed working with you. With that, we'll get you back to work. We'll meet you in the post landing page 5 3. There are no deltas. Okay, Scorch, thanks, and uh, thanks to all you guys, too. We'll go over to 5 3, and uh, we'll finish up post landing and turn this incredible machine back over to the ground teams to put it back in the barn for a little bit. Yeah, we concur. And with those words from STS-132 Commander Ken Ham talking with the Capcom Charlie Hobaugh here inside Mission Control Houston, Atlantis has uh, wrapped up a 32-year career, 32 missions, as well as this 132 flight. It traveled 4,879,000.